it is the winner of Best Cinematography at the 2014 Rome Web Awards, and an official selection of the 2014 Miami Web Fest. The first two seasons are available on YouTube and the official website, while waiting for Godot.com, and season 3 will premiere in the fall. Also more present in the original manuscript are strong vaudevillian and Jewish aspects of Didi and Gogo, the two lead characters, and a more gutter-talk-based banter between Beckett's homeless protagonists. As part of his final film project for NYU, Ozonk adapted his own translation to the short film genre, creating vignettes shot in black and white. He admittedly does so with a nod to the cinematographic styling of the Italian neorealist filmmakers from post-war Italy, choosing, however, to set his Godot as a modern-day New York City story. Ozonk's updating does in fact work, it's neither heavy-handed nor ill-conceived as so many updates of scripts often are, and as a filmed work with the actual backdrop of the city behind the cast, the changes agree with the setting. It's unusual to see Godot with actual background and physical context that s not sparse, and the grounding in a very real, though altered by the camera, New York changes the viewer's perspective entirely if familiar with the stage version, the absurdism is suddenly anchored in reality, making it seem perhaps less unreal than it normally does.